covering Venetia, San Ramon, San Mateo, and all the Bay Area. This is ABC 7 News. Well, next week, San Francisco's Exploratorium celebrates one year at its new building, and now the museum is pushing its mission of hands-on learning beyond its own walls. Tonight, the Exploratorium shares job skills of the future with Mission District teenagers in a partnership funded by the National Science Foundation. ABC 7 News anchor Dan Ashley has tonight's Assignment 7 report. Kids from the Boys and Girls Club? Meet the Exploratorium's outdoor team, creators of the museum's wide range of science and art exhibits made to be enjoyed outside. Now they're helping teenagers dream up their own outside oasis. But when we work in the community, what we really want to do is partner with a community-based organization that really knows the neighborhood where we're working. That's where the Boys and Girls Club in San Francisco's Mission District comes in. Three teenage club members are the first to step up for this pilot project. The idea of designing, architecture, building, it's... I, I love doing this. They'll spend a little over a year creating a parklet in their neighborhood. So the overarching idea was we're going to focus on design, but also 21st century trades. So trades, the way they looked 15 years ago, is nothing like they look now. They're very intensive in technology. First, they learn sketching and 3D computer design, all the while brainstorming ideas. The lighting is going to reflect from it. And they did not skimp on the details. Some solar panels will be on top to create energy for the lights right here. We wanted somewhere to sit, and so this is two seats for older people and taller kids, and this is for younger kids. And then we added this tape, like a weird table. On this day, the Exploratorium team is helping the teens combine their designs into a small plastic model using a 3D printer. So see, it just kind of lays down to one little layer at a time. The plans keep getting more elaborate. It's going to have a soccer goal in here, and we're going to take up about six feet uh, and put grass on it. The next step is to build a full-sized plywood prototype right in front of the Boys and Girls Club. Doing it at the club is just a great way to make sure that the the real kids in the community who traditionally may not ever experience anything like this really get to experience it. Finally, the community comes in to test out the prototype parklet, and it's a huge hit. The teenage designers watch carefully to see how all their ideas work. Pretty incredible just knowing that the kids have been using the stuff that we've built with our own hands. They'll build the permanent parklet this coming summer, the next step in the long-term goal of replicating this project in other cities, helping many more young people prepare for the future. I actually learned a lot, and it made me feel like more confident of like what I can do. What a terrific project. That was Dan Ashley reporting. And by the way, ABC7 is the Exploratorium's official television partner. This weekend, Dan will host a special report, More to Explore, the museum's first year in its new building on the San Francisco waterfront. That's this Sunday at 6.30 p.m.